So we know for lipids that our monomers are fatty acids. Now it's time to talk about how we convert those fatty acids, connecting them together to make them a polymer. There are several types of lipid polymers, but the one that we're going to talk about right now is called a triglyceride. And this seems like a fancy science term, but really that prefix tri, that means three. And what you're going to find out is that a triglyceride has three fatty acids. Glycerol, that molecule is how you get the glycer part of triglyceride. And that glycerol is going to hold those three fatty acids. So a triglyceride is just three fatty acids plus a glycerol. So we're going to go into how we can sketch this. We'll start by sketching our glycerol at the top. It has three carbons in a chain. And on the outside of these carbons are connected hydrogens. And then on the other side, there's OH groups. So we have our molecule of glycerol. And below that, I want us to write out three fatty acid chains. So we're pretty used to doing this by now. There's that OH group connected to a carbon, which also is connected double bound to an oxygen. And there's that chain of carbons. And because I'm gonna make this a saturated fatty acid, I'm gonna fill up each carbon's bonds with hydrogen. Now I have to draw two more, but this is a lot of work. So I'm gonna simplify this. I'm still gonna have that OH group connected to the carbon double bound to an oxygen, but instead of drawing out that hydrocarbon chain, I'm just going to make a squiggly line. And as long as you know that at each vertex, there's a carbon and that carbon is filled with its hydrogens, then that is okay by me. I'm going to put the last one in here and simplify it in the same way. So now I have one, two, three, fatty acids and the molecule of glycerol. So now I need to connect these three fatty acids to this glycerol molecule to make a triglyceride. You already know the process for how this happens. So when water is pulled out, what kind of reaction is that? If you said that it is dehydration synthesis, you are correct. And just as a reminder, this is sometimes also called a condensation reaction. Either way, we're pulling water out. So we have our glycerol and three fatty acids. And we just did dehydration synthesis to connect them. So now we're gonna draw what it looks like now. So remember when it's together, we call it a triglyceride because you have those three fatty acid chains and the glycerol. So what it's gonna look like now, you're still gonna have those three carbons. Hydrogens were untouched. Each carbon in our glycerol is just going to have an oxygen rather than an OH group because we lost our hydrogen when we were making water. And our carbon lost its OH, so now it's sharing this oxygen. And then to simplify it again, 
I'm just going to draw in the tails of hydrocarbons like that. So what we have here is our glycerol and our three fatty acids. The result when these come together is a triglyceride. 